Hello, my name is Lucas, and this is the fifth and final step of my build on the Tamiya Grasshopper. So today, um, I'm going to be showing you how to put on the body and the wheels. Now, these wheels you have to assemble, but I assembled them off camera. And let me tell you, these are a pain to put together. But one trick I have um, is that if you put them in hot water, and then you can jam the rim in perpendicular and it'll make it a good amount easier. Um, so I assembled these off of camera, but you will need to do those yourself. So the things you will need for this step is four of these bushings, of course, the rear wheels and the front wheels, the body, and some of these adapters. Now, this body, it does come with stickers in the um, package, but I am not going to be put, putting them on in this video, so you will have to do that yourself. So, let's get started and put on the wheels. So, for the front wheels, you're going to take one of them, and you'll notice that there's indents on the front and rear of them. So, on each of those, you're going to put a bushing. It should fit in just perfectly and put one on both sides it should look like that and now you're going to want to do that on both of the front wheels again repeating it putting on the bushings in the indent and now you should have two fully assembled front wheels so now you could just slide them onto the shaft and then you want to go into parts bag c and you'll notice there's four identical nuts looking like this and you want to take all of them out and grab one and you can just kind of slide it on to the end and kind of thread um, thread it with your hand and then you can use the included wheel wrench and tighten it down as far as you can and that will just be nice and careful and that then it should spin freely so now you want to do the exact same thing on the other side. Again, sliding it on. Be careful, the bushing might come off. So you can always put that back. Grabbing one of the nuts, putting it in the tool, and tightening the nut on the other side. So that's the exact same process as the other one. Um, so that will be fairly easy. Now we are on to the rear ones. So these rear wheels, it should look like this. So what you want to do is you want to grab one of these adapters and with that facing um, the this side that looks like this should be facing into the wheel and you're just going to insert it in and you should kind of feel it pop in and now it will look somewhat like this. So what you want to do is go to parts bag D and get one of these pins. It should look like that. And then you're gonna go to the shaft and you'll notice that on this shaft, there's a little hole by the end where the axle um, closes. So having that be um, horizontal, you're gonna slide the pin in and then grab the wheel, making sure you line up the X with the pin. You should feel it slide in nicely. And if you have to just take your time and get it so it slides in nicely. It should slide all the way and you'll feel it once it's in. Again, like we did on the front, we're gonna tighten that nut all the way down until you can't tighten it anymore. Um, so we can tighten that down a little further. And tighten that all the way. So now we're gonna do the same on the other side, grabbing the wheel, grabbing the adapter, Inserting it in, grabbing the pin, should look like this. Horizontally, inserting it in, take the wheel, sliding, Let's make sure. It's, you, you want to make sure the pin is horizontal, otherwise you could, it will probably fall out. So, be very careful 
and make sure it's slid down. So you can just slide the and it should feel top. Now grab the last nut you have and tighten it down all the way. Now, tighten it down. Should tighten down a little bit. So you want to tighten it all the way, nice and tight, so the wheel nut does not fall off. So now, All the way down. So now we've got a rolling Cameo Grasshopper. So you can check it out. It works really nicely. Long suspension travel up front. Great car. So now we're going to install the body. Now this body is screwed on because the battery actually goes in on the bottom. So what we're going to do, the front has like this little triangle shape and that should align perfectly with the black part of the chassis. And the screw hole should line up just right. And you're gonna to wanna to grab four of the screws out of parts bag B. And they'll look like this. And then with these, I just slowly insert them one by one. And you can tighten them about halfway and then do the next. Um, now you can put a driver in this car um, and they do come included, but for this, I am not gonna actually put the driver in, but that is totally your choice if you want to or don't. Um, so you can decide when you're putting on the body. And then there's also the included sticker sheet, like I mentioned before, that you can use if you wanna make your body look a little nicer than this generic white. And then also, um, for those of you out there who know or see a little better, um, you can also paint this body, but um, it does look nice without paint, with just the stickers. Um, that's your choice um, on that. So now I'm gonna tighten down all these screws and so, bear with me for a moment while I tighten these down. So, we'll tighten all the way. Nice and tight. And once you've gone those all the way tight, um, you now have a fully assembled, ready to run Tamiya Grasshopper. So now, I advise you to go charge your battery and have some fun with your new car. Thanks for watching this five part series. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't watched the other videos, please check them out. Thank you.